Hey YouTube, it's MI Gardener again, and it's time for week 7 update. And man, we got so much stuff growing on, and oh my gosh, we got just everything in store for you guys today. So, Bree's going to walk you around the room, and you guys are going to be really surprised, because I know I'm surprised, and I live in this house. So, just uh, stay tuned, and she's going to show you what's up. Okay, so here's the window sill gardening place, we have all these plants. These are your broccoli and your cauliflower back here. There's little beans back there, only a few. Um, here's some peppers, the various types of peppers we have, plus our celery and some more cauliflower there. These are all peppers here. Uh, these are also peppers. We had so many peppers, we had to transplant them, so they're all in bigger pots. As you can see, these are getting very big. These are also all peppers. Huge amounts of peppers. We're going to have plenty this year. There's more peppers. And here are the peppers that we were so worried that weren't going to sprout. We have two. We There are a jalapeno, like a jalapeno pepper. And the other one, oops, sorry about that. The other one is a Jamaican. Jamaican habanero. Now back here we have some long-standing spinach, and that sprouted and it's doing very nicely. As you can see, they have their first set of leaves. Well, that's a sprout. They haven't grown their first true set of leaves yet, but some of them are starting to form. Down there, you can see a little tiny thing. That's the first set of leaves. So that's it for the window cell. Now I'm going to move on to the grow box. I know, huge, right? These plants have gotten so big. It's unbelievable. We did have to cut some back because we didn't want all of them to flower and grow uh, uh, the vegetable on there. So we cut the one in the back here. He's pretty small. And this one right here, we cut them back. And we're going to let a few bud and actually grow some peppers because we're eager to have some kind of produce. Down here we have some celery. And right here we have all of our tomatoes that we had planted, uh, I think two weeks ago. Or a week ago. And here we have some more tomatoes. No, the names are here. Not sure if you can read them. Those are more tomatoes. So just like peppers, we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. Now you are going to be surprised. Look at this massive lettuce plant. It is huge. We are not picking them, picking these leaves off, because we want it to form a head. Last year we grew lettuce and we couldn't get it to form a head because we kept picking all these leaves off. So we want them to form a head. It's starting to. In the back there we have onions. They're huge. We're going to have to transplant those very soon probably within the next couple of days. Here's another pepper plant. And these are tomato plants back here. And here are Luke's oh what did he the McDonald's Delight tomatoes. The ones from Burger King. So those are sprouted. And they're looking pretty good. And here we used to have the lettuce. We actually took that out. It was overcrowding, and um, we just decided to take it out. It was very thin. This lettuce is thick. That lettuce is super thin. It was just too crowded, so we took it all out. And in here, we received seeds from a viewer from Costa Rica. And we put all of her seeds that she sent us in here. So we have various things like... Uh, Tomatoes, there's some kale, there's mini miniature onions, golden sunrise tomato. So I don't know exactly all the varieties of plants, but every seed she sent us, we planted in there. Now I'm going to show you the closet garden. So we have the window garden, grow box garden, and the closet garden. Okay. Those in the back there, those are all peppers. 
Oh, it sounds kind of funny in here. These are all peppers back there that we didn't have enough room in the window garden or the grow box, so we had to move them. And in here, th these are all the kale. All of our kale is sprouted. And our various herbs that we have in here. Um, I don't exactly remember what kinds. Well, there's oregano, basil, thyme. Your basics. Here's some pink brandy vine tomatoes. They're doing really good. They're getting tall. Looking healthy. And in here we have raised miniature lettuce. These are supposed to be uh, personal size little lettuce heads that will grow. So we have one sprout here. And we have a few others. One back here. And right here. And last but not least, ooh, the plants from when we did our clippings video. Here's our spider plant. You know, these guys really haven't changed very much other than the purple heart. That one has gotten, I'm going to take it out of the sunlight so you can see, that one's gotten very big. It's beautiful. It looks nice. I think I might take this and put it in my room along with my rose bush. And the philodendron, it's philodendron, excuse me, it's getting better, I mean, it's doing okay, it's not doing as good as the Purple Heart, and honestly I expected them to grow a lot faster, but that's just me. I don't think they, I think they take a little while. And this is the jade that Luke cut. It actually is growing some roots down there. Luke checked them, I think about a week ago, and it's growing roots. and the spider plant. So that's about it. That's all of the plants. That's how they're doing. As you can see, the windowsill garden has become very vast. It's huge. Our grow box has extended and we even use a closet now. <laughs> so just remember if you like our videos and you want to continue watching the progress of our garden just tune in for the next weekly update or weekly quick tip. And if you like our videos, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.